Filipino giving me shoes. Guns was even at us until Pac was like, yo, you know, he was sitting there. He was like, yo, they're going to shoot y'all. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so Pac was conscious? Yeah, yeah. Bronze Capo. I'm respectfully checking back in. When thugs cry. When thugs cry. I want to talk to y'all during this live premiere, y'all. With all those alleged bullets and pots, he was still able to tell them, back off, they're going to shoot you. Born thugging and loving the way I came up, big money clutching, busting while he rating cocaine, bust my post rushing, to my clutching into insanity. They shot at my cousin, now we busting at they old family. The coppers want to see me. Shout out to the wrench gang, I see you. I don't line on the DA because I'm fucking his secretary. Live stream, respectfully, I see you. Some bust them and touch them all. They panicking, bitches ducking, I rush them up for more. All. Probably be an old member. I ain't playing no Machiavelli music in a while. No business closing. <laughs> Kidnap my homie sister, cut up face up bad. They even wreck us, so we plays they bad. Automatic shots bring out on every block. They putting hits out on politicians, even cops. I ain't lying, they got me. I want to stick to this Vegas topic. Dreams I hear motherfuckers screaming. What is the meaning with the battle scars and closed caskets are multiplied? Motherfuckers die. Don't ask why. When thugs cry, we don't shed tears. We shed blood. Do you still want to be a thug? When thugs cry, battle scars and closed caskets are multiplied. Motherfuckers die. Don't ask why. When thugs cry, we don't shed tears. We shed blood. Do you still want to be a thug? With the 21 gun salute. Maybe my addiction to friction got me bugging where it's been love. Never quit my ambitions to thug. Ain't shed a tear since the old school years. So 21 gun salute. Niggas I used to love and close the penitentiary. So still, homie, keep it real. How does it feel to lose your life over something that you did as a kid? You all alone, no communication block on the phone. Don't get along with your pop and plus your mom's is gone. Where did we go wrong? I put my soul in this song to help us grow in time. But now our minds is gone. We went from brothers to sisters. I want to talk about E.D.I. mean Fair living to worldwide riches and something changed in this dirty game Everything strange Lost what he wants to tell the world about Vegas and what he don't. They ask me if I shed a tear. I ain't lying. See, I gotta get high or die. Cause even thugs cry. Battle scars and close cast. 21 guns. All the niggas that put it down and they rest in peace now. All the niggas that watch me from heaven to hell. <laughs> when thugs cry. And most definitely. Most importantly. Most truly. Most dearest. Put this down for me, grandma. Rest in peace. God take you, let the ages let you fly. We can't hear out for you. I got that. Do you still wanna be the dub? Ain't nice. Let me ask you what you said. I don't know what that means. You said some shit about how I went. Nobody saying it. I'm still too happy about that. Nigga, you know who's going to the record store? Go check out some of the albums. You can put that motherfucker on the screen. It's done shit for a while. And I know you've been listening because you're a life and shit. Uh, recognize what realize. Your ass wrong, dog. 21 Gun Salute When Thugs Cry OG You know, I play the music In the beginning of these live premieres To give people a chance To tap in A lot of people, you know They follow my channel for over the years You know They rather me do regular videos some people rather me go live. Some people like the live, live premieres. And I'm just trying my best to show diversity and show like, yo, look, right now we looking at a still shot. I'm okay with switching shit up. EDI mean 21 Gun Salute. Eli Amin explained after Chris Carroll, the bike cop, pulled him over. He said Pac was telling the outlaws or death row who, or whoever was in that little circle around the BMW to back off. My thing is, when did Pac actually take his last breath? Say his last words. At us until Pac was like, yo, you know, he was sitting there. He was like, yo, they're going to shoot y'all. 
You know what I'm saying? Oh, so Pac was conscious? Yeah, yeah. He didn't lose on the ground and shit too, right? Something like that. I, yeah, I mean, you know, he, that's to. that's what he was trying to do. You know what I mean? But we were so focused on the car, we ran right up to the car. You know what I'm saying? We didn't realize, you know, his guns was even at us until Pac was like, yo, you know, he was sitting there. He was like, yo, they're going to shoot y'all. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so Pac was conscious? Yeah, yeah. He didn't lose conscious until I think he was on the way to the hospital or once he got there. Yeah, he was conscious. Okay, so Pac just got shot up. And he's telling, he's protecting you guys from the police. Yeah, well, I mean, he could see that, the, you know, that the, the cop, and then by that time, him. more cops was coming. You know, he was like, yo, y'all gonna get shot. It's a hectic situation, man. The homies, you know what I mean? Pac got shot, you know what I mean? Hey, y'all gotta remember, the narrative is Nobu, he's, he's tapping in, but he wasn't in Vegas. Nobu was in Pac's mansion with Napoleon. But Napoleon wasn't even in the mansion. <laughs> so all you noble fans, when he taps in like this, he acts like he was there. He was not Wait, there. Man, the homies, you know what I mean? Pac got shot, you know what I mean? You know, he was like, yo, y'all gonna get shot. It's a hectic situation, man. The homies, you know what I mean? Pac got shot, you know what I mean? That shit crazy. The, the most interesting thing about the interview when I did with Chris Carroll was he described how he approached the car, you know, the Pac was in. I looked at him once again, I said, what happened? Who did this? Who shot you? And now he's looking at me, so we're looking at each other in the eyes. And this is kind of the first time he's even acknowledging my presence. And... Uh, he looked at me and I could tell he was, you know, he was getting a breath together to tell me. And he looked me right in the eyes and we looked at each other and he said, fuck you. And he's been lost, you know what I mean? He, he, he's 21 gun salute. If you just tapping in, Edi Amin, during the Officer Vlad interview, stated, with all those bullets allegedly in Pac in the BMW, Pac was still able to tell. Edie, I mean, and whoever around that circle to back up. They're going to shoot y'all. Don't get shot. His last conscious moment and his last words. Sounds like Tupac. Is that is that how you remember it? I mean, we was on the floor, face down. And by that time, other cops had came around. But yeah, he definitely said those, that is what Pac said to him. Wait a minute. Does Edie I mean sounds like he's telling the truth here? I'm going to run it back. Because according to Chris Carroll, Pac was like, he threw the F word at him. Fuck out of here. Right? Officer Vlad is asking Edie I mean, was that true? 21 gun salute. What happened? Who did this? Who shot you? And now he's looking at me, so we're looking at each other in the eyes. And this is kind of the first time he's even acknowledging my presence. And uh, he looked at me, and I could tell he was, you know, he was getting a breath together to tell me. And he looked me right in the eyes, and we looked at each other, and he said, fuck you. And he said it just like that, with an emphasis on that F to, you know, to really let me know. Uh, that's how be his last conscious moment and his last words. Sounds like Tupac. Is that is that how you remember it? I mean, we was on the floor, face down. And by that time, other cops had came around. But yeah, he definitely said those, that is what Pac said to him. Fuck you. Yeah. 21 gun salute. Drop some comments below respectfully. Does Edie sound like he was going on with the narrative? I mean, if Pac said that loud enough, everybody would have heard that. If we just tapping in, we also talking about Edie, I mean, his statement to Officer Vlad was, 
with all those bullets in pack, he was still able to tell them to, you know, be careful. Don't let these police shoot ya. Is that is that how you remember it? I mean, we was on the floor, face down. And by that time, other cops had came around. But yeah, he definitely said those, that is what Pac said to him, to fuck you. Yeah. And I don't know if Pac said anything else in the ambulance. I don't know if those were his exact last words, but you know, essentially you could say they were, you know what I mean? Those, those are the last words that you heard Tupac say. The last With words I heard Tupac say was, get on the ground, they gonna shoot y'all. To me, yeah. and to us, those were the last words I heard come out of his mouth. Drop some comments below. That's why we tapping in today. Edi Amin said those was the last words he heard Pac say, you know, I do these live premieres so I could get the info out. The live streams is like a distraction. It is totally a distraction, the regular live streams. And I don't need to be on camera. You understand? This information is very, very vital to what's going on. And what I mean by very important, if no one knows exactly what was Pac's last words, everything is just hearsay because they make a narratives that Pac was telling Chris Carroll, the lying ass bike cop that said he opened up the BMW door, fuck you. We got to make sense out this shit. Okay, but then because we were by that time we were face down. We, you know what I mean? We was face down on the hot hey, yo, anything oh. else in the ambulance. I don't know if those were his exact last words, but you know, essentially you could say they were, you know what I mean? Those and those are the last words that you heard Tupac say. The last what words I heard Tupac say was get on the ground, they gonna shoot y'all. To me, yeah, and to us, those were the last words I heard come out of his mouth. Okay, but then Because we were by that time we were face down, you know what I mean? We was face down on the hot fucking Las Vegas concrete. You know what I mean? With guns to the back of our heads and you know what I mean? Don't move, all that type of shit. So I couldn't necessarily hear what was being said between, you know, Chris Carroll and Tupac Shakur, but you know. But you heard the fuck you? No, I didn't hear that. Okay. No. But wait a minute. A few minutes ago in the same interview, he did say he heard it. Did Am I bugging? 21 Gun Salute. If you just happened in Edi Amin, he said to him and I guess the death row entourage, Pac's last words was, get back, they're going to shoot y'all. Is that how you remember it? I mean, we was on the floor, face down. And by that time, other cops had came around. But yeah, he definitely said those, that is what Pac said to him. So here you have, we. this is why I do live premieres. I don't write this shit down. I got to focus. In the same interview, Idi Amin is saying, yes, those were Pac's last words. Or oh, those were Pac words. Let me correct the narrative. Fuck you to Chris Carroll. And in the next side of his mouth, he's saying he don't know. What the fuck is going on? But yeah, he definitely said those. That is what Pac said to him. To fuck you. Yeah. And I don't know if Pac said anything else in the ambulance. I don't know if those were his exact last words. But, you know, essentially you could say they were. You know what I mean? Those, those are the last words that you heard Tupac say. The last what words I hear? heard Tupac say was, get on the ground, they're going to shoot y'all. To me yeah. and to us, those were the last words I heard come out of his mouth. Okay. but then Because we were, by that time, we were face down. You know what I mean? We was face down on the hot fucking Las Vegas concrete. You know what I mean? With guns to the back of our heads and, you know what I mean? Don't move, all that type of shit. So I couldn't necessarily hear what was being said between, you know, Chris Carroll and Tupac Shakur, but, you know. But you heard the fuck you? No, I didn't hear that. Okay. Wow. Within a minute, less than, t I literally timed this. <laughs> 
You can literally time this fucking lie. And good job by Officer Vlad. I don't know who told him to say those questions. Drop some comments below. Let's run this back. I don't know if those were his exact last words, but, you know, essentially you could say they were. You know what I mean? Those, those are the last words that you heard Tupac say. The last word. This one is back. But, yeah, he definitely. And as it turns out, that would be his last conscious moment and his last words. Sounds like Tupac. Is that, is that how you remember it? I mean, we was on the floor, face down. And by that time, other cops had came around. But, yeah, he definitely said those, that is what Pac said to him. To fuck you. Yeah. And I don't know if Pac said anything else in the ambulance. I don't know if those were his exact last words. But, you know, essentially you could say they were. You know what I mean? Those, those are the last words that you heard Tupac say. The last what words I heard Tupac say was, get on the ground, they're going to shoot y'all. To me yeah. and to us, those were the last words I heard come out of his mouth. Okay. but then Because we were, by that time, we were face down. You know what I mean? We was face down on the hot fucking Las Vegas concrete. You know what I mean? With guns to the back of our heads and, you know what I mean? Don't move, all that type of shit. So I couldn't necessarily hear what was being said between, you know, Chris Carroll and Tupac Shakur, but, you know. But you heard the fuck you? No, I didn't hear that. Okay. No. I heard Chris Carroll say that before, though. You know what I mean? This shit don't make no sense. So why are you co-signing the police? I want to take it back. To another interview with E.D. I mean, talking about the situation with Officer Vlad, 21 Gun Salute. What did he tell you? Just got into it. Somebody had to whip somebody's ass. He even, he even called us at the mansion when he got to the hotel. Like, get on the phone, he going crazy, put on the speakerphone, me and Napoleon listening. He like, yo, we just got into it. We like, yo, y'all be safe out there. Calm down, man. You know what I mean? He had to call us and let, let us know, you know. Now remember, Napoleon was not in the house. Napoleon, we already got him on a vid and a topic, him just explaining himself in his own words. He was not in Pac's mansion. So this right here was bogus that Noble did. What did he tell shit. you? Just got into it. Somebody had to whip somebody's ass. He even, he even called us at the mansion when he got to the hotel. Like... Get on the phone, he going crazy, put on the speakerphone, me and Napoleon listening. He like, yo, we just got into it. We like, yo, y'all be safe out there. Calm down, man. You know what I mean? He had to call us and let let us know, you know, and just put some pause on somebody. You know what I mean? You know, all the extra excitement, the fight just happened, Mike Tyson, all this shit. The nigga was, called us. He was, I heard the energy just coming through the damn phone, man. You know what I mean? So, so you, you fall in line. Drop some comments below. You know... Noble was trying to convince or did a try to do a good job convincing the world that Napoleon was there. He kept saying us. At the mansion when he got to the hotel, like get on the phone, he going crazy, put on the speakerphone, me and Napoleon listening. He like, yo, we just got into it. We like, yo. Y'all be safe out there. Calm down, man. You know what I mean? He had to call us and let let us know, you know, and just put some pause on somebody. You know what I mean? The, you know, all the extra excitement. The fight just happened. Mike Tyson, all this shit. The nigga was, called us. He was, I heard the energy just coming through the damn phone, man. You know what I mean? So so you you fall in line with Pac and everybody. And then what happens afterwards? We go back to the hotel. Okay. We go, go back, back to, the, to hotel. the hotel and 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 now it's time to get ready because six six two is popping. Later that night, is, you know what I mean. It's going down, so you know we just chilling. You know what I mean. Just you know, getting ready for the night. Okay. So then you guys get dressed, and you guys head out to six six two. Yeah, we probably kept the same shit we had on. I'm sure he flipped. He flipped <laughs> right. his gear. You know what I mean? But you know. It yeah. wasn't popping like that for us at that time. You right. Know I mean? So so you guys, I mean, you guys are already, you know, dressed and everything yeah. else like that. So you guys head, head to 662. Tupac and Suge go, go in the, the BMW 7 Series. Where were you? We were in the back, right in back of them. It's a caravan of people, so okay. it's about, 
I don't know how many cars. But he was in Kadada's car, right? Yeah. Yeah. You in the car directly behind him or a couple cars back? Directly behind him. Directly behind him. Yeah. Because okay. Frank was driving. I was his security at the time. So Frank was driving, of course. Driving you. Yeah, driving us. Yeah. He was like, nah, Frank, I'm going to ride with Suge, ride with the little homie. So, so you're following Pac, uh, you know, Suge's uh, BMW with Pac in it. And then yeah. there's how many more cars are behind you? I, I couldn't even tell you. A lot. Man. It's a lot. It's you know what I mean? this, is, this is death row at the height. You know what I mean? You heard Noble or Entourage, and Noble wasn't there, and that's why we got to make sense out of this narrative. You know, he's just doing hearsay piggyback. 21 Gun Salute. So then a group of girls pulls up and, and sees Tupac. Mm -hmm. And then what happens? A group of girls sing Pac, woo woo woo, and then, a, um, you know, so it went down. When, when the group of girls seen him, what, what what exactly happened? We in the back, so we don't really know what they saying, but this is Pac and Suge in the car. So if somebody see them two niggas anywhere in the scream. world, That's they stopping, you know, like even shit. prior to... I think what Officer Vlad is trying to say, did you see the two girls? Or the, the group of girls, excuse my French. If you ask me, Edi Amin is going off a lot of the narrative that Hollywood wrote out. 21 Gun Salute. If you just tap it in, we on Edi Amin's neck today. You know what I mean? They easily recognizable. It's not like, it's you know what I mean? It's a normal day in the life. It's just man. a normal day. We see a car, like, oh, all right, there go some hoes. Right. They trying to holler at the homies. Woo, woo, woo. That's normal. So the group of girls see Tupac go all crazy, and then a car pulls up next to the BMW. Right. And what kind of car was it? It's a white Cadillac. Okay. Story's been told at nauseum. Everybody knows it was yeah. a white Cadillac. Arm came out the back seat and started letting off. What What went through your head when you saw that? They shoot my nigga. That's you know what I mean. They shoot. That's what we saying. Like, yo, they fucking shooting the car. They shooting, you know, we telling Frank, like, yo, what the fuck? Now, if you remember the narrative also, Brent Becker said Edie saw the shooter. Yak saw the driver. So is this his way of letting it be known that, yeah, you heard the stories a thousand times, a million times? The arm came out of the back of the Cadillac? Yeah. That's, you know what I mean? They shoot, that's what we saying. Like, yo, they fucking shooting the car. They shooting, you know, we telling Frank, like, yo, what the fuck? You know what I mean? It's going down. You know what I mean? Did Frank do anything? Frank was, like, okay. story's been told at nauseum. Everybody knows it was yeah. a white Cadillac. Arm came out the back seat and started letting off. What, what went through your head when you saw that? They shoot my nigga. That's, you know what I mean? They shoot, that's what we saying. Like, yo, they fucking shooting the car. They shoot. The group of girls see Tupac go all crazy. And then a car pulls up next to the BMW. Right. And what kind of car was it? It's a white Cadillac. Okay. Story's been told at nauseum. Everybody knows it was yeah. a white Cadillac. Arm came out the back seat and started letting off. Remember, Brent Berker said Edie Amin told him he could identify the shooter. And when Reggie Jr. brought him to the precinct at Metro, Las Vegas, Edie switched up because Reggie Jr. told him to, of course. Edie Amin told Brent Berker, I'm not going to look at no photos. I can't identify no shooter. I wonder what was the photos. What what went through your head when you saw that? They shoot my nigga. That's you know what I mean. They shoot. That's what we said. I wonder who was in those fucking photos. This is crazy. Thank you for tapping in. Before I end this live stream, we are gonna end it with some Edi Amin finishing off and talking about Death Row. <laughs> Like, yo, they fucking shooting the car. They shooting, you know, we telling Frank, like, yo, what the fuck? You know what I mean? It's going down. You know what I mean? Did Frank do anything? Frank was... 
Frank seemed like, you know, just like everybody, everybody there that's with us, we all got caught with our pants down. So that's the look on everybody's face. You know what I mean? Did you have a gun on you? Nobody had guns. Nobody had guns. Not at least not in our car. I can't speak for no other cars, but in our car, there was no guns in that car. Was there was there a reason for this? Because you guys would would roll around strapped sometimes. All the time. All the time. All the time. Vegas, Especially like Fatal and them, you know. No, Vegas, all of us used to all of you guys. Yeah, everybody had guns. everybody had yeah. a gun at any time. But Vegas was a different situation because it was outside of Cali, and you know um, this man is still on on uh, he's out on bail. You know what I mean? And any, you know, any any slip up at any time, even though we were rolling recklessly, us as the little homies never wanted to be the ones that got this nigga sent back to the pen. So and you were questioned by police? Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you told him? I told him just what I told you, because that's what happened. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, literally, everybody was caught with their pants down. It was So... After the shooting happened, you were questioned by police? Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you told him? I told him just what I told you, because that's what happened. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, literally, everybody was caught with their pants down. It wasn't a situation. We wasn't rolling the way we should have been rolling at that time with the number one nigga in the game, you know what I mean? It's a certain way you're supposed to roll, and I learned that afterwards, you know what I mean? I learned I learned that from Jay Prince. When we went down to H-Town and rap a lot, them niggas protect Jay Prince hmm. like you're supposed to protect the breadwinner and somebody you love, you know what I mean? And I'm not saying Suge didn't love Pac or certain individuals in the, in the entourage didn't love Pac because them niggas love Pac. You know what I'm saying? 21 Gun Salute. Drop some comments below. So here you have a narrative where Edie I mean is saying rap a lot, they protect Jay Prince. Should should have protected Pac like how a rap a lot protect Jay Prince. Can y'all drop some comments below? Saying they absolutely did. Them niggas protect Jay Prince. Hmm. Like you supposed to protect the breadwinner. After the shooting happened, you were questioned by police? Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you told them? I told them just what I told you. Because that's what happened. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, literally, everybody was caught with their pants down. It wasn't a situation. We wasn't rolling the way we should have been rolling at that time with the number one nigga in the game, you know what I mean? It's a certain way you're supposed to roll, and I learned that afterwards, you know what I mean? I learned I learned that from Jay Prince. When we went down to H-Town and rap a lot, them niggas protect Jay Prince. Hmm. Like, you're supposed to protect the breadwinner and somebody you love, you know what I mean? And I'm not saying Suge didn't love Pac or certain individuals in the, in the entourage didn't love Pac because them niggas love Pac, you know what I'm saying? They absolutely did, you know what I mean? But we wasn't rolling the way we should have been rolling because if we were, that would have never happened. We wouldn't even be having this conversation, you know. So, Keefe D, who is Orlando Anderson's uncle, basically laid out the whole situation about how after, the, the, you know, Orlando got jumped, they all got together, grabbed some guns, and right. then and first they went to Club 662. But they had seen a bunch of death row dudes, a bunch of bloods and everything else like that there, and realized that this was not the place to, uh, to stay. Did you hear anything about this at all? Mm -mm. No. Okay. So, uh, but McKeefe D in order... 21 Gun Salute. A few years ago, Officer Vlad asked Edie I mean about Keefe D and Keefe D's statement. And Edie, his reply was no. I mean, if you love Pac and you got love for Pac, you had a baby with his sis, you're considered family. You was in Mama Afina Shakur house when Yak died. 
I mean, wouldn't you keep your ear to the streets? That's called keeping your ear to the streets, whether it's a false narrative or a true narrative. This was not the place to, uh, to, to stand. Did you hear anything about this at all? Mm -mm. No. Okay. I mean, we was on the floor, face down. And by that time, other cops had came around. But yeah, he definitely said those, that is what Pac said to him. To fuck you. Yeah. And I don't know if Pac said anything else in the ambulance. I don't know if those were his exact last words. But, you know, essentially you could say they were. You know what I mean? Those, those are the last words that you heard Tupac say. The last words I heard Tupac say was, on the ground, they're going to shoot y'all. To me... Yeah. And to us, those were the last words I heard come out of his mouth. Okay. But then because we were, by that time, we were face down. We, you know what I mean? We was face down on the hot fucking Las Vegas concrete. You know what I mean? With guns to the back of our heads and, you know what I mean? Don't move, all that type of shit. So I couldn't necessarily hear what was being said between, you know, Chris Carroll and Tupac Shakur, but, you know. But you heard the fuck you? No, I didn't hear that. Okay. No, I heard Chris Carroll say that before, though. You know what I mean? That this is not my first time hearing him say that. I, I think it's really this moment and his last words. Sounds like Tupac. Is that is that how you remember it? I mean, we was on the floor, face down, and by that time, other cops had came around. But yeah, he definitely said those. That is what Pac said to him. To fuck you. Yeah. And I don't know if Pac said anything else in the ambulance. I don't know if those were his exact last words. But, you know, essentially you could say they were. You know what I mean? Those, those are the last words that you heard Tupac say. The last With words I heard Tupac say was, get on the ground, they're going to shoot y'all. To me yeah. and to us, those were the last words I heard come out of his mouth. Okay. But then because we were, by that time, we were face down. You know what I mean? We was face down on the hot fucking Las Vegas concrete. You know what I mean? With guns to the back of our heads and, you know what I mean? Don't move, all that type of shit. So I couldn't necessarily hear what was being said between, you know, Chris Carroll and Tupac Shakur, but, you know. But you heard the fuck you? No, I didn't hear that. Okay. No. I heard... 21 Gun Salute. Heard Chris Carroll say that before, though. You know? He heard Chris Carroll say that before, but he didn't hear Pac say that, but he co-signed. I'm going to see y'all on the next one. Capo status. Peace.